What's up guys? I'm leaving the gym now. This is day number 17. I took about four days off, but uh, we did a dope live stream last night and somebody asked me, how's that gym grind going? And I thought, you know what? This is exactly why I put it out on YouTube. This is why instead of watching a video that I really want to watch right now of somebody else's, I'm like, no, no, dude, you're on the grind. You're on your own journey. You need to keep this documented. You need to keep recording it. So after four days off, back in the gym for day number 17, even though the routine hasn't been consistent, I'm still not letting myself completely bug out of everything. I'm trying to keep it consistent as best as I can, but life gets in the way. I'm sure a lot of you guys, oh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. It just gets hard, the bar is getting busier. My kid is getting crazier. Those of you that have kids can relate with this. If you don't have a kid, you can't relate with this. Having a kid basically means everything gets put aside, right? Like I'm fighting to, to maintain old routines. I'm fighting to maintain my channel. I'm fighting to maintain my quality of living with another tiny human being running around the house. Now, she almost broke my switch this morning, so I'm glad she didn't, but it's uh, it's tough. You have to have your eyes on somebody all the time, all the time. And it's not like it's just while she's young. This is gonna continue throughout the rest of my life. As she gets older, I'm always gonna be worried about Aspen. I'm always gonna be worried about, you know, where she is, is she safe, is she okay? I'm always gonna be worried about that stuff. But, um, you know, I want her, despite not being with her right now while I'm at the gym, I want her to one day see that I worked really hard to keep everything up. And I know kids, they, I, I know that I didn't appreciate everything my parents were doing for me as a young kid. You just didn't know. You didn't understand how hard this life really is. You really don't have a good perception until you're an adult, until you're on your own, until you're paying for everything on your own. So... I get it now. I get it now. I see how hard it is to build businesses and build routines and have a personal life, ha have your own privacy along with having a kid. It's really, really tough. I'm sure a lot of people can relate with this, but uh, here I am. I put in the time. Hopefully, normally on the weekends, I just take off. So I know I'm going to take off Saturday and Sunday. Also, the gym opens late anyways, and I like going earlier in the morning. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for supporting me, making sure that I'm staying on top of this gym routine. I'm trying. And honestly, I see the difference. It's not like I'm going backwards. It's not like I'm now just binging on junk food and laying around the house. No, I've just, with that time, I've slept more. I've spent more time with my family. I've made more content. I'm definitely not wasting my time or not being productive with it but I do like getting up early because you have the whole day ahead of you. There is nothing better than waking up early and wanting to wake up early and being happy when you wake up early. Waking up early in the day and just being like, oh, it's another day. That's not a good way to live life. That's not how you wanna live your life. You wanna wake up and be excited to start your day. You wanna wake up and feel blessed that you get to start your day. So I'm hoping that I can get to that point. I do believe that working out and, and physical fitness goes hand in hand with mental fitness. And I just hope my quality of living and my mental health increases. I know a lot of people are leaving the hobby because it's, it's an addictive hobby. There's gambling. Um, people don't have willpower to not open up product. And then you have people like me who are just straight up Pokemaniacs and spending all of our money on Pokemon cards. And that's not healthy either. And, and I'm, we're starting to see some YouTubers, this was a video I wanted to watch that almost kept me from making this video, which is why I try to stay away from YouTube. Um, other than watching a couple content creators, I really try to stay away. Otherwise it's like a black hole and you get sucked into it. So, and I almost didn't make this video and this is important to document and, and keep my routine going uh, as far as going to the gym and working out goes. Um, Whew. But uh, yeah, we're seeing people come out of the woodwork and pretty much saying like, I'm done with Pokemon. Like I'm, I'm getting out. So, and I think that's, I think that's really mature. I think it's brave. I think it's hard. 
I think, especially when you've collected so much and given so much to this hobby, um, taking a break from it is much easier said than done. And then leaving it entirely is even harder. So I have a lot of respect for those people. It's not like I feel like, oh, well, you, that's ridiculous because Pokemon's going to go up so much in value in the next couple of years. If you're into Pokemon and you love Pokemon, you're going to do it regardless of like what you're spending and how you see it as an investment. You're just going to do it because you love it, period. That's why I collect Pokemon cards because I love Pokemon cards. I love the games. I love collecting this stuff, the hunt, the thrill, the chase of it all. That's exciting to me. It doesn't matter what the market does. It doesn't It doesn't matter like how much I'm spending. That's on me. As a grown man, that's on me to regulate my spending and have some more willpower. But um, yeah, people are leaving the hobby. And honestly, I kind of hope more people do leave the hobby. Not, not in like a sinister way, but like that will calm the market down. And then people like me that really, really love Pokemon products truly and genuinely will have a better chance of getting this stuff for the prices that I w would rather pay for it. Like, like these eBay prices the past two years have been insane. It's been ridiculous. And then like dealing with sellers and the responses that you'll get, like it's all been ridiculous. And I think the market coming down a lot will help a lot with that. And it'll humble a lot of sellers too, myself included, because we may never see the prices that we were getting on items the next two years. The, the market may be coming down. I don't know if that's the truth, but you know, we'll just see. Anyways, anyways, um, trying to keep a healthy routine, trying to keep coming to the gym. And um, thank you guys for the support and the love and having my back. Like seriously, like y'all are the dopest community ever. I'm so lucky. Like I love the community that we built, the channel that we built. Last night's live was sick. We got a Gyarados out of the Gyarados artwork rocket pack. That was sick. Uh, we opened a tops pack. We got a hollow foil Charmander. That was dope. We got a prismatic uh, Squirtle out of our sticker pack. That was really cool. Um, definitely check out that live if you haven't already. Um, but thank you guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I love you guys. Peace out. Hopefully we can all hang out and do just like a live chill sesh. Like one of these nights, honestly, I want to do more lives that are like that, that are just hanging out with you guys more than anything. Um, and then I'm long overdue for a long form discussion video talking about certain elements of the hobby and the market and what's happening. And I'll be doing a video like that very soon. Anyways, guys, peace out. Love you guys.